My name is Neeraj and uh, this is my very first Jeep mod. Um, I've got this uh, Apollo Pro series 6 inches uh, halogen lights spread beam for my Jeep Wrangler JL 2019 and uh, trying to fix and get this started. Uh, I'm really fearful of all the wiring harness and anything battery and wiring related. I'm not a mechanical guy as such, just an ordinary layman. But I'm trying to see if I can get this installed. I just ordered this on Amazon. Um, costed me about 210 Canadian in, in Canada. Uh, so I'll keep you posted if I'm successful in installing this together. This little performance lighting, lighting wiring harness and face case. There are instructions. Seems to nicely packed wiring harness. I'll try my best. I'm still doubtful if I'll be able to do it. And then you got this uh, instructions manual, nicely packed. We'll see how it goes with the button. I hope I'll be able to do it. I also got this uh, A pillar light mount from Casey. The instruction and the screws. And of course, the two pillars for mounting. See this. So the um, since you have to anyway remove the antenna before you start the installation i removed the old one and installed upgraded with a new one like a small 13 inches nice and clean antenna and that's uh, this is from the it's very cheap from amazon.ca it's called uh, ride on air flexible rubber antenna 13 inches replacement for it says jeep wrangler jk but i could install in jeep wrangler jl updates i could really <coughs> you get the whole wiring harnesses here and um, I what I did was I just fished. Uh, I used my um, like a tape, uh, a measurement tape, and I kind of attached with the zip lock and pulled it right through the other side. So you, this is the wire, for instance, and so one part goes there, and I installed my KC lights as you can see, and one over here, and you kind of take off standard four screws here, one, two. Uh, one two three and and the fourth one over here <clears throat> and then these are the um, the um, windshield mount screws you kind of take them off as well so you attach this whole unit over there uh, push the screws back and one of the factory screws are not required anymore because you use the other one with a um, with an ordinary allen key and you kind of screws it it goes in there and you mount the lights on top of it which comes from the factory and then you obviously have a nut and bolt to tighten that up so this can be adjusted later there's a little foam over there from where i actually kind of pulled the both the wires in and then it goes through the battery from there now the easiest way i could find to fish my wires in safely through a firewall is that hole as you can see um, this portion you kind of uh, you get a nice uh, like a cover with a plastic it just goes and stays there. This is factory fitted it comes with uh, all the wranglers i guess so it was put in there just kind of i use a little um, screwdriver took out from the side and took it out so you just get the complete you know option there to wire your head uh, you know fish your wires quickly so i'll use a torch maybe you can see that so can you see that black hole there? Yeah, that's the easiest way you can go inside the cap for doing any, you know, wire or any wiring harness as such. It's, it's quite smooth, like you don't have to drill or find another way. This is the easiest I could find. So I'm going to push all my wires through that little hole. So I just push them across and once you are satisfied uh, with the wire, you can pull enough of them across and I'll take you inside the cabin As you can see you can just push them inside and you you get the wires right underneath there if you can see with a torch yeah those are the green whites that's the place I've got the wires in I'll pull them in and the try to install a switch manually in my Jeep so I got enough of wires I wanted all three of them <clears throat> try to fish them through here and Maybe install a switch somewhere here or uh, another place. I'll let you know on that. But and I'll get that cap closed so that it's all sealed and tight. So we actually decided to put a hole into this um, the cap which I just showed you. Uh, 
then we'll try to fish this thing inside one by one and then we are going to put a lock underneath it towards the inside just to have them straightened and locked inside locked and so that the wire doesn't pull through this is much easier as you know uh, because we were trying to put the cap otherwise and it keeps falling down you have to go underneath the car to take it out all the way by this method even if you fall it if this falls down you don't have to go inside underneath the car to get it all the way uh, back up again so we start from here some kind of i just tied the wires inside just to keep it inside this whole the, the central part just to have them locked and inside and it doesn't come out especially when you plug it and if you don't have enough of tension it will come out on its own so just to avoid that before we really fish the wires inside the cap once again before i go showing a layman's job and i have this black and decker power screwdriver it helps a lot the, the torch is very helpful you might have to go underneath here and there so light natural light doesn't help you need a torch for sure so i tied the, all the wires nicely tightly as you can see this see battery connection the the yellow and the white wire goes in there attaches to that i've used the standard relay here tugged in all the wires nicely and the wire goes from here the, the black wire here as per i'm just showing with my torch is going right there and inside the cab and then the other um, wire goes from here and it connects to one spotlight and the other spotlight over there so closer to the final step i got this switch finally trying to install it somewhere over here underneath the driver seat probably and um, i got this all the cables pulled in i i will try to turn off turn on the lights after this so i kind of got got this nice drill bit i used this drill a hole over here if you can see and this is where i located my switch and i'll be just wiring them and that should be it and that's it i guess it's done guys finally and i can show you uh, turning on the lights the the cables are a little tricky though the harness where it goes it's a little tricky i'll be fixing my uh, the wiring and all but i can show you that i just turned on my lights and uh, it's quite bright that's how it works so thanks for watching again i hope it helps